Hey guys, uh, this is Kapal from KnockoutGaming.net and Astian Media. Um, today I'm going to be walking you through how to encode to X264 in MEGY. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'll just say the uh, initials. Anyway, so I'm just I just downloaded this, so I'll install it. So once it's installed, you're going to want to open it. It's going to ask if you want to update, hit yes, and wait for it to update. It's going to take a long time, uh, so I'm just going to fast forward this bit. Alright, uh, once it's all done updating, you're going to want, want to import a few files. We're going to go unrestricted to pass insane and to pass fast um, ideally uh, you're going to want to use insane for the most part especially with uh, montages and then we're going to want to import DV, DXVA HD high quality and um, this is going to be useful for another tutorial that I'm going to do later today on making stuff 1080p so yeah uh, we're going to import those and then for audio we're going to import lame mp3 and nero aac but you're probably just going to want to use this lame mp3 overwrite the profiles and we're not going to import any xvid or any presets and then you're going to restart the program, not your computer. That would just be stupid. Um, Alright, so that's all we're going to want to create a new script. So we're going to go to AVS Script Creator or hit Control R and then find your video input. So we're going to use uh, Exus. As you know, we need to use something short, so we're going to use the Aston Media intro. And you just want to run through it, make sure it's alright. Change the aspect ratio if you need to. I think Halo 3 is 1.778, if I remember correctly. It's not fully 16.9. But um, anyway, so you're going to set your output for the script and your um, your end video, I think. Anyway, so you're just going to click save, X out of that if you're happy with it. Then you're going to go to configure. As you know, we want to go to two pass insane and configure that and then we're going to go to 6000 for our bitrate we're going to leave all the other settings the same and update the profile so when you select it in the future it just always does that and then for audio we're going to use the same the same um, uh, video sorry and we're going to use the lame mp3 scratch pad and we want it a constant bitrate you can have a variable bitrate but i would prefer a constant and you're going to want to have 256 kilobytes per second or kilobits I don't know. i'll just shut up uh, 320 or 256 for high quality audio and since this is like only people who will be down who know what S264 is really are going to be doing this will want high quality audio and a good quality video. So it's best to do it high quality than just like half of us it. And then we're going to go to auto encode and we are going to 
calculate the bit rate if you want to. So, and then you can see what kind of file size it's going to come out of. And then you're just going to hit no target size because we don't want to limit it at all. And then we're going to queue. Going to convert the color space. Go to your queue. And then you're going to want to. Oh, there we go. Create new worker and right click center worker, worker one, then start and it'll start code. Ping. Um, if you have a decent computer, it will encode in real time, which is cool, but shows you the frame rate it's processing out right there. It will then mix them all together and you have your final file here. Just show you that it works. And um, you can just upload to the whatever site you want. As you can see, you've left it as an MP4 container, but it's still X264. So, yeah, this tutorial is based on Reagan's tutorial from um, YouTube. So, some credit goes to him. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching and that's how you encode a montage to 264.